everyone, so first of all, before I even start this video, I do have a makeup tutorial on this makeup look here already up on my channel. I will link it down below for you. So today's video is a lip swatch video and I am freaking out because there are so many colors for me to swatch today. R.I.P. lips. These are the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. You may have seen me use a couple of them in tutorials or like drip videos or whatever, but I thought I would swatch all of them for you today because I have quite the collection. Look how many there are. As you can see, like there are a lot and there's a lot of darker colors as well, which are perfect for autumn, fall, for those of you guys that are going into those seasons or are in those seasons or whatever. I don't know when I'm uploading this video. I have my baby wipes ready. Let's do this. Now I have to say this is not ideal because my lips are kind of dry today, but I'll be alright. So the first one I have here is Times Square. Look how cool this is. By the way, I'll have a discount code for all of these down below. This particular color here is not that opaque. I promise you they're not all like this. You can kind of do a couple of layers, but yeah. This is something I would personally almost never wear, but it could come in handy at Halloween. So yeah, that one is called Times Square and it is kind of like a metallic finish as you can clearly see. Next up is a gold and this is called Fifth Ave. This is a dupe for one of the Kylie liquid lipsticks. I actually showed it in a dupe video. I'll link it down below. This one, as you can see, has a lot more color payoff. So yeah, that is Fifth Ave. I feel like it would be perfect for Halloween for like Cleopatra or something. Next up, I will do Angelis. This one looks like it's got a slight kind of shimmer through it as well. It's kind of hard for you guys to see this because it is like my perfect My Lips But Better nude color. I love this color. Once again, that is called Angelis. I'm going through these quite quick because I've got a lot. Next up is Aries. These smell so good as well. That's how it looks. It is basically a orangey kind of nude color. It's very soft and very pretty and very wearable. Once again, that's called Aries. That's the name of my friend's dog. Next up is the shade Bel Air. You can see how rich and creamy and pigmented they are. This is a beautiful nude as well. It's a little bit of a darker nude, or if you have a darker skin tone, it could be a really good nude for you. I really like it though, it's really pretty. So once again, that is called Bel Air. Next up, I'm going to do Panama. And this is just a really beautiful kind of baby pink color. It's definitely right up my alley and it feels really, really soft on your lips as well. So yeah, once again, that is called Panama. Next up, I'm going to do Daytona Beach. I feel like Daytona Beach looks so good with my eye makeup. It is so pretty. It's like a coral kind of orange color. It's very orange. I feel like it's a little bit darker than what it's showing up in camera right now. There we go. That's a little bit more accurate. Love, love, love this. This is definitely a favorite. So yeah, that is Daytona Beach. By the way, you guys, the formula of these kind of reminds me of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Like it's very silky smooth and they have a kind of like demi matte finish, I would say. They don't emphasize all the like lines in your Lips, they don't look too drying so if you don't like super drying liquid lipsticks these could be really really good next up is charmed that was such a bad application I don't know what's happened here but you can see the color really well that is charmed it's like a deep kind of raspberry nude I feel like this would look so good with a bronze smoky eye or something like that this one here is in Sao Paulo I don't know how to pronounce that I'm really bad with place names. Thanks to my cool New Zealand accent. Ooh, this is so pretty. This one is basically a really pale nude, except it's very brown, like a very beige brown nude. I really like it. This would go with basically any makeup look, especially if it was quite a bronzed look, I feel like bronzer, bronze eyes, whatever. Love this one too. I feel like I say I love every single shade, but that's just me. I love lipstick. This next one is called Pasadena. Kind of reminds me of Charmed. It's very similar, but a little bit less pinky, a little bit more brown. Next up is the shade Rio. 
So that is Rio. It's basically a really light kind of pastel orange. It's not really a coral. It's definitely got a lot more orange in it. I really like it. Again, bronze eyeshadow. It would look so good. Even with this eye makeup I'm wearing now, it's quite cool. Next up is Laguna Beach. Ooh, this is like another My Lips But Better, except it's a deeper pink. I am a huge fan of this. I've never tried it on before. It's so pretty. Laguna Beach, definitely a favorite. This would go with almost any makeup look as well because it's quite a natural kind of pink. It's not too bright. It's not too bold. It's not too out there. It's very, very wearable. Next up is the shade Hollywood. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty as well. That's Hollywood. It's bright, but it's not too bright. I don't know, I really like it. Once again, that is called Hollywood. Next up is Palm Beach, and this is Neon. Can you see how bright this is? This is like a Barbie's lipstick. This should be called Barbie. Barbie on the beach? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Palm Beach is beautiful. I love it. It's so bright, so bold. If you like a good bright pink, you have to get this one. Next up, let's do this one because it's epic. This is called Las Vegas. I've been wanting to do a tutorial with this for ages because it is just such a cool purple. Huh. Okay, maybe not with this makeup exactly, but can you imagine it with something else? It does make my teeth look a little bit yellow, but it's such a cool color, I don't care. I am obsessed with this. It is beautiful. Next up, let's do a Mocha. This is like a rich brown. It looks like it's got a bit of red in it. Uh-huh. This is so grunge. <sighs> I need to do a tutorial with this as well. Once again, this is called Mocha and I love it. Next, let's do Saint Tropez. Oh, uh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I haven't had the best day today, but putting on these lipsticks is making me feel a lot better. This kind of reminds me of Snob by MAC. That kind of purpley pink. Oh, it's so stunning. This is so wearable as well. You could wear it with really natural makeup, dramatic makeup, day or night. It's just such a versatile color. I feel like we're probably about halfway now. <laughs> the next one is Sunset Beach. Oh my gosh, this is like neon orange. Oh, it's so cool. This color is so cool. It's really bright. There is a friggin' spider on my window. What do I do? What do I do? As long as he doesn't come. Is that a white tail? Okay, as long as it doesn't come near me. I don't care. Just stay there. <laughs> Sunset Beach. That's how it looks. Next up is another super bright color. This is Surface Paradise. It is like a fluoro orange. It's a little bit lighter than the last one and a little bit more yellow based. I love this color. It's just like pure orange. So once again, this one is called Surface Paradise. It is epic. If you like orange lipstick, this is a really good one because it's a little bit different. It's a little bit less red and it's very, very neon. Next up, I'm going to do Hypno, which is a darker kind of berry color. That is such a rich, beautiful color. It's basically a chocolatey red color. Once again, it's called Hypno. Next up is Miami Fever. This is a beautiful kind of terracotta orangey color. Totally up my alley. I love it, especially with this eye makeup. I feel like that looks so cool. Once again, that is called Miami Fever. Next up is this super bright red. This is called Ultimate Red. This looks incredible. Oh my God. This is such a great color. Oh my God. This is another awful application but this color is definitely one of my favorites it is so bright if you love bright red lips like little red riding hood bright then you need this in your life it is such a cool red once again it's called ultimate red next up i'm going to do manhattan which is like a deep purple color uh how cool is this once again it's called manhattan and it is just the most beautiful muted dark purple next up is americano I'm sorry if my lack of, you know, different words today, but I really love this one as well. It's called Americano and it is the most beautiful, warm kind of brown. This one here is called Havana Nights. This is a dupe for Leo, I believe it is, by Kylie Jenner. I'll list my dupe video down below. That's how it looks. It's basically a deep kind of red. It's got a little bit of a berry kind of undertone. Next up, I have Malibu. This one's like a little bit metallic. It's kind of got some like purple shimmer through it. It's not really my cup of tea, to be honest. Next up is the shade Santa Anna. It's pretty much a muted kind of berry red color. It's very bold, but it's not bright. Next up is the shade Santa Monica, and this is a little bit of a brighter pink. 
I love this one. It is so bright and so bold. It really does pack a punch and I feel like it would look so good with like a champagne and neutral eyeshadow look or something like that. It would look super girly and cool. I love it. Next is another bright color. This one is Venice and it is a very bright kind of tomato color. <laughs> Do you guys say tomato or tomato? Tomato, tomato. I say tomato. I like don't even acknowledge the second T. I'm like, no, no. Tomato. This is the perfect orangey red color. You guys know how much I love this kind of shade. It's definitely not unique by any means, but it is stunning nonetheless. Once again, that is called Venice. Next up is Atlantic City. So that is Atlantic City. It is a bright dark red. It reminds me a lot of Mary Jo K by Kylie. Next up is Mina. My lips are hurting so bad right now. <laughs> So that's how Mina looks. Basically a raspberry red. It's got a little bit of purple in it. This one's another kind of metallic one. This one's called Honolulu. Oh, it looks kind of wet. Not gonna lie, I thought I would hate this, but I kind of like it. It's very vampy. It's like a dark brown with red in it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Next up is Harlem. This is a really, really dark purple. You might benefit from using this one on a lip liner because it can get a little bit streaky because it's so dark. It's a pretty cool color. I'm kind of too scared to wear colors like this out of the house, but if you like them, then this one could be for you. Next up is New Orleans. This one's formula is a little bit difficult to work with. I don't know if my one's just drying out or what, but it's a little bit patchy and like just hard to spread out. I don't know. And then the last one I have here, whoo! <laughs> this one is called Queens. How did I do that? This one's like the other formula, like, I don't know. It's quite thick and hard to spread out. Okay, I think these last two at the end are like the worst in terms of the formula. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. If you layer it up it looks good anyway you get the idea that is queens so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this swatch video sorry the last few were very messy but my lips are like aching right now i've been filming for about an hour and something doing lip swatches and whew, it's a bit painful <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe so you can see my videos more often i upload three a week and don't forget to turn on mobile notifications you can click the little bell on my channel and don't forget to check out some more of my videos i'll put some on the screen i hope you guys enjoyed this video as i already said i think anyways i'll talk to you guys soon bye